Hello and welcome to the cold start video for the 1985 Renault Fuego Turbo. First of all to show the temperature of the engine block is 17 degrees along with the bodywork it's at about 17 18 degrees. If you could please start the engine please Eddie. Couple of revs, please. Thank you. It'll it'll um, push the choke in in a minute. It'll be a bit, bit more rev. A little bit more, please. from Trade Classics and we're back for the on the road video with the 1985 Renault Fuego Turbo with the owner Eddie. Oh hello there, yes um, we're enjoying the ride on a nice hot summer's day. Yeah I tell you what the, it is absolutely beautiful this afternoon we've got fairly empty roads the sun's out a few clouds and the roads around here are absolutely amazing for driving on uh, as I'm sure you'll see a little bit later in this video. So first of all we're going to start sort of getting an idea of the car so how does the how do you say would you say the clutch feels in this Eddie? Oh the clutch is very good I've never had any problems it uh, doesn't bike too hard it's fine you know. Yeah I've noticed whilst we've been going along here the gears go straight in they're nice and smooth there's no grinding crunching no noises. No, it's, uh, it runs extremely well, extremely yeah. well, no problems at all. And I must admit, the car itself, I can't hear any knocks, bumps, grinds, there's absolutely no no bad noises at all. A little bit of wind noise, but as expected from having the sunroof, which is obviously a big bonus. Yeah, we're going along about 60 mile an hour here, so we are on the speed limit. I can't really push it much, but yeah. what we'll do when we get stopped a bit, we'll show you what the turbo will do. Yeah, of course, it's a turbo car, so we'll get that, that in there. So, you mentioned in the other video the brakes that had been re redone. Yeah, the, the, the brakes were slightly pitted on the discs, so um, I've had them all replaced, so they're all brand new. So. Obviously, it would help the braking speed and the distance, I should imagine. Yeah. But obviously, the brakes, they feel good. They're not spongy. They're nice and firm. No, they're very, very good. They pull up nice and even. Yeah, it's very reassuring when you've got a, a turbo car like this. So, whilst we're driving along here, I can see there's no vibrations on the steering wheel. How does it How does it feel to drive? Is It's very, very good. I mean, for an older car, it's very good. Well, as I say, I drove them up and down to Peterborough for five years and uh, I was very pleased with them. That's brilliant. Okay, hopefully in a, in a second here we're going to be able to enjoy an acceleration of the yeah, car. Yeah, we will. We'll, uh, uh, when we get back to the end, I'll, when we slow down a bit, I'll show you what she'll do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flip the camera around and uh, we'll enjoy a little bit of the drive and hopefully get a bit of the a bit of the turbo spooling up, a bit of acceleration, a bit of braking, a bit of turning for you guys to yeah, enjoy. We're actually running now into the village, so we'll go through the village, we've got to be careful there. As soon as we get out of the village, we'll push the turbo a bit and I'll show you what you'll do. Okay, brilliant.
definitely picks up and go. Oh yeah, she, she goes like a rocket when you use it, but of course your fuel starts going down then a bit, but that's, uh, that's how cars are, I'm afraid.